Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i would like to guide you about steel reinforcement details in the construction of floor beam they also did some common mistakes so let me point out those mistakes in this short video let's get start guys you can see this is floor beam this is end of this beam they did not provide development length so development length is important and development length should not be less than six inches unfortunately they did not follow the steel structural drawing next guys you can see this is the other column and this is end of the beam but you can't see development length so what uh, what is development length development length is the extra length of steel specially provided in beam to make a good bond between steel and concrete guys you can see size of the beam is 18 by 12 inches with concrete cover without concrete cover this is 9 by 16 inches guys you can see also we have three steel rods at the bottom three at the top so this is not the proper design of floor beam because in tension zone we should use minimum four steel rods because this is commercial building and compression zone concrete is strong in compression so therefore in compression zone or in upper portion of the beam we should use minimum numbers compared to a tension zone where tension is bottom in this beam guys you can see this is end of the beam so the bottom steel reinforcement development length should be become to the upward side and the upward side steel reinforcement should be go to the downward side guys you can see size of the column is 12 by 18 inches stirrups you can see they play strong they didn't follow any steel structural drawing they don't have a side supervisor to guide them for stirrup spacing hooks hooks bend its length as you can see guys they will provide lapping on this place so this is not the place to provide lapping length on the top of the floor beam you can see shuttering is open they have more gap between the shuttering here so they should provide the plastering tape to cover the space guys you can see the spacing is about 8 to 9 inches for stirrups so this is not the proper spacing for stirrups next guys you can see they didn't provide any crank bar or bent up bar or extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment to the distance of L by 4 they just placed steel reinforcement by a steel fixer they don't know what is steel structural design so they are just wasting their time as well as they are wasting their money guys you can see this is the junction between beam and column so they should provide extra steel rods or bent up bar more than 50 percent they used lapping length here so therefore they will face more problems in the future as you can see hooks are bent on 90 degree so this is not the proper design guys you can see this is the chajja which length is about four feet but you can see they didn't extend the steel reinforcement at the end of the chajja as you can see the spacing of main bar and distribution bar is 6 by 6 inches this is singly mesh die off each bar is 12 millimeter as you can see the steel rods hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye